the channel guys today we have something a little bit different we are going to be repairing this lovely unit right here known as the disa valve we are working on some german stuff today so uh i don't know what the disa valve actually does uh it opens up a flap inside of the intake manifold i maybe it, i don't know but anyways it's kaputsky right here see this right here that's not supposed to do that um, it's supposed to be a vacuum operated thing where you hold down here and then it holds it open. It's just made out of plastic, Bakelite, baked on something rather here. And it is very crispy. So I ended up getting this kit. There's a, there's a couple different options with this DISA. You can buy this unit from BMW for about 400 bucks. You can have them install it for a total of about 500 bucks. You can buy it online for about $300, or you can buy this kit from German Auto Solutions on Amazon, and it's the Disavalve Repair and Upgrade Kit. So um, the problem, if you if you buy this thing new and you, you go spend $300 on it, there's a fly in here, um, it's probably gonna happen again. I mean, maybe not in, you know, you know the length of time you're gonna have the car, but you know, I plan on keeping this car for a while. Um, and so it's just gonna happen again. And the problem with these is this little pin right here, this metal pin. And what happens is, and mine's pretty darn tight. It failed on this side, I believe, but sometimes they fail right here and that pin will fall right off and go into your uh, intake manifold, drop down into a cylinder and grenade your engine. So it's not a good idea to leave these things alone. And what I'm finding is a lot of people will do this kit even if their disavalve valve is uh, working just fine, just for peace of mind, because the way this is designed, um, I'll show, you, show it to you as I assemble it, but there's a titanium bolt that goes in and it actually connects uh, and pins in, screws in from the other side. So you eliminate that problem, um, you're good to go. So what they say here is to go online, which I have my on my phone here, and, and read the instructions. They used to give you instructions in here, but I think they don't do that anymore. I, I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. It would be nice if uh, you could do that. They said print it off. Um, I'll just leave my phone on. But let's open up this this little kit and see see what's included. I'm kind of curious. Come on. Actuator? Dot. I don't know what DISA stands for. Just some German name. I think it stands for DOS is a stupid actuator or something like that, I, I believe. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But anyways, this is uh, the new one. And this is a billet aluminum piece with it appears to be a, a billet crank, which is a plastic thing in the stock unit. And then there's a titanium bolt all the way through. So that's kind of cool. So as you can see here really easily, there's nothing to fall off. This is just going to go right into that hole. It's going to be screwed down from the crank side. It's like, like who would have ever thought of that? Like, that's not a bad idea. Um, zip ties. I think this is to tie the crank back or there's some other stuff. Super lube. Okay, so first things first, you got to, you kind of have to clean this. I'm going to, I'm going to get this apart. Let that pop right off of there. You know what they're talking about here. Look at that, it came right off. Oh, they said you can check it this way. Yeah, and it works. Same screwdriver, looks like. They give you a new one in the kit, so I'm not worried about it. I just don't want to bust off this arm. And it's off, okay. Looks like that just comes right off. Okay, so I just push down on that flapper. And then we're gonna yank this pin out. So mine was in pretty darn good, this pin. Just carefully work it out. Came right out. Now I gotta clean it out. So what they say here to do is plug this hole up with some like a toothpick or tape and I'm just gonna kinda clean everything off. It's all kinda gunky. Got this all cleaned up. Took some electrical cleaner, some simple green and got it as good as I can. Um, you know, it's not rocket science. I don't know how clean these are supposed to be, but I got it as clean as I can get it. So you unscrew it, basically. Comes out, titanium bolt. Nicely machined. Hmm. Take a glob of grease, it says. 
Put some to the bell crank that spread it around the outside and avoid the tapered hex shape area. So you gotta get it around this this shank area, but avoid the hex shape part because it goes into there and you don't need it. Can I get that around there? And then I'm gonna put some on the crank itself. On the outside here. Just like it said, I'm gonna put quite a bit on there. Did you push it in from this side? that thing out of the way looks like you put the crank towards that over there okay so I got this all aligned this is the way it looks in the picture so I'm and they said you want to put a little thin bit of Loctite in here thread locker I don't really know why so let's go ahead and do that real quick get that kind of coated in there stick this in do this quickly I can. Let's see if that locks into place. Looks like it did. Looks like we're good, actually. Oh, just a little, just a little dibby dabby do here. Hold the flapper closed while tightening the screw. So I gotta shove that all the way in here. Put it sticking out. And it is, so it came right through, so it's stuck in there now. You gotta hold it, you have to hold this flapper closed while tightening it. That's gotta fully seat in there. There, I can feel it tightening up. You don't wanna put any pressure on the actual disc of valve itself. So that's good. It's good to me. Let's see if it works. So we're gonna put this spring back on here. This little clip right here, this last clip. We're going to put that on. And they said use a socket. Okay, now I'm gonna push this this clip on here gently, the socket. Just like that. Plenty. And we are pretty much done. The only thing I have to do is this. There's one more thing. These have these have a built-in kind of silicone molded O-ring. And of course you you gotta take this out to these go bad real easy, so you have to actually kind of peel these out apparently. And, in there okay that took a little while there but once you get that cleaned out right there good to go make sure it's clean and I'll put a little bit of this grease on it and slide it over the freshly cleaned surface Put a little bit more on there just just for installation. Seems a little loose to me, but I guess that's okay. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it.